Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. We've been in Canada for a while. And it's finally time to take down Jean Bisson once and for all. This guy is a monster against nature. Gonna catch that raccoon and make me hot and wear it for a month of Sundays. And I'm frankly tired of hearing him and his crazy talk, so, Bentley, let's start this thing. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bisson. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Not sure how you're going to be able to keep a low profile, but let's do this. Go, Bentley. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. Alright, so here... There we go. Let's try to aim it right at the middle. I think, really, as long as it's on the log, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be precise. Not bad, Hippo. But watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Nice job, Murray. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe time. What is with this music? <laughs> also, yeah, watch out for the eagles. Ooh, they're coming to get us. Bentley cannot jump. He cannot run. You just gotta make it... Ooh, that was close. Okay. Once you're on the ice flows, I don't think the eagles will attack you. Just wait for them to line up with each other. Got a limited time, but if you're quick about it... Ooh, right, this thing moves fast. We should be... Okay, we're on the last ice flow. Get over there. And... Let's plant it. Nah, and he gets a zero. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? Hey, he's cheating after our cheating. So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. And so we have a limited time to reach the top. All you gotta do is launch yourself. It's really not too bad. Just don't waste time and you should be good. In this part. Here we go. Ooh, ah. Forgot about electrified ones. That performance you shouldn't have even bothered showing up. Oh, I didn't make it top of the wall in time? What? Alright, let's try this again. Alright. This time, we're not going to be oops, surprised by the lightning. Alright. There we go. For a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Grapples to hook onto Bison. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall. How on earth it won't be obvious that this is cheating is beyond me. Ooh, way too high. 
There we go. Got one. Let's get the second one. Ooh, way too high. Almost got it. Did that hit him? Okay, so yeah, we're not gonna make this one. The aim is a little wonky. That's how it's done. Yeah, it's gonna force us to do it again. All right, well, at least it doesn't put us back at the start of the mission, just at the start of this section. Good, I got one. Realize I don't have to run all the way back. Is that a good shot? Nope, too high. Who got it, okay. Third and final one. Ooh, it bounced into him. That was lucky. Eh. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? Oh, our cheating is no match for his intimidation. I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. All right, stay on the log for the duration of the challenge. So you see some of them drop down. That's kind of messed up. Whoop, nope. All right, which one? Nope. You can thankfully see which ones are about to dip under. I like to stay on the middle one because it gives you more options of where to go. Oop. Because if the left one's dipping and the middle one's dipping and you're on the left one, you gotta jump twice. And that's just not fun. All right, we're doing good. Doing good, Bentley. Timer's almost up. Honestly, this one is probably the easiest of them, which is kind of funny to think about. One lucky turtle. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judge's table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. All right, so we're gonna have to lure the uh, judges with the alarm clock. So, let's see, I don't need the music box. Let's do the alarm clock. Let's see, is that close enough? Nope. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yes, yes. One down. Oh, Bentley's so cute. Oh, I'm heading the wrong way. All right, what's that? That's gonna bring him closer. All right, that should be good enough. Good, two down. Murray. All right, is this close enough for the final guard? Yes. And then into the cave. And Sly gets his custom. I love it actually shows him entering the cave. Oh my God, they look so, just so ridiculous. Heh. <laughs> Consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. 
world. If you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Ooh, ow. That hurt. Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisan must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command! I hear ya. Prepare yourself, Bissad! On guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. I love that Jean Bisson doesn't recognize us when we're just there as ourselves, but does recognize us when we give him a bad score. And also, we get to do fire to burn him, or logs, or saws, excuse me. There we go. <laughs> Fire and saw blades. There we go. Great way to take him out. Yes. Burn that bison. Alright, you know what? There we go. That's a good spot there. I love this. We just stand here, just keep hitting him. Wow, we got him in a loop. This is perfect. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Big boomers, big boomers. Alright. Just keep this up, and as long as we dodge the dynamite... Boys, let's get to killing. Oh, we've almost got him. Just... Oh, ow, hit myself with that. Oh, really? I missed. There we go. I'll take that health. We got him. Tarnation. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You 
did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Shake a leg! That blimp's on its way! But we get the trophy, gold medal winner! Uh, wait, where are we going? Ah, we're going this way! Uh, gold medal winner for defeating Jean Bisson. And I love that it's a boss fight you do as Bentley. It's kind of a nice touch. Now, I don't think there's any guards out here, so you just make a run for it. And you know what? I was going to do my speedy dash, but I didn't need to. I love it th shows the arrow there. Now, why we couldn't both just bounce? I don't know. And we're safely inside as the blimp arrives. Job completed. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Aww. And then it shows us hopping in the van for that little cutscene. And... Oh, it's, it's sad we lost our van. I'm sure we'll find a way to get it back. But that completes Episode 7, Menace in the North, eh? 100%? I think it's time to launch into the final one. Episode 8, Anatomy for Disaster. Let's watch the cutscene, shall we? There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius and it wasn't long before the clogging took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes. And now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together. And when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Sly Cooper and the gang in. Anatomy for Disaster. Oh, it's not good. Not good at all. We have lost all of the clockwork parts, but we're up here on the blimp. Yeah, we're not actually in a country or city or anything. We are up on the blimp itself, and it cracks me up. So, let's look at our final items here. We got Feral Pounce, Jump Over Vast Distances, Diablo Fire Slam, the most expensive item we could buy, used while carrying an enemy to create a deadly firestorm, 
and temporal lock. Freeze time around the guards temporarily at least. So yeah, we're gonna need 6,000 coins to buy all of these. And I'm gonna buy all of them. So I say, let's pop out and just take a look at what we're dealing with out here. We got friggin' buzzard. What's that? That is Blimp Headquarters Recon. Oh, you see me, huh? Whoop. Don't even think about it, buddy. All right, uh, I say, let's go do the recon real quick. This is kind of a fun hub. It's, I mean, you're literally in the enemy's fall, uh, ugh, I can speak. Enemy's floating fortress. Uh, you, nope. You're coming at me. I'm not gonna do it. Those are the spotlight guards. Oh, he's got some stuff to steal. Ah, oh, shoot. Whatever, I'll leave them behind. And are we head the right way? I think so. Uh, can I go up this? I don't think I can. Mm, I see a clue bottle though. Oh. Goodbye. Uh, can I climb this? Yes, I can. So yep, we've still got 30 clue bottles to find here. Ah, there we go. This is what we need to do. Go along this way. Um, wait for you. Which way are you going? Okay, good. You're going that way. Eh, you don't really have anything to steal. Bouncy pad. Ooh. Goodbye. Wait, did I keep... Yeah, voltage attack is on R2. Now, where are we headed from here? Ah, over that way. I hear you, clinky clinky. We'll get you later. My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If arpeggios already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. All right. Well, let's get as high as we can. Oh, I see you. I see you there. I'll come back for you later. All right. And I think from here, paraglide over. And we can safely land on the wing, right? Yes, we can. Let's head up. Uh, let's see. Do I have any... Okay, no, I don't take pictures out here. I gotta get inside. Whoa. Get up there. Climb, climb, little raccoon man. And let's go inside. I like you actually had to bash open the entry. I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast! Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. All right, I can do that. Let's see. If I just float down here. All right, I think I can get a picture. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. So they're useful. All right, that's clockwork. Uh, where do I want to go from here? I think I want to steal your stuff. No, don't hop under there. Hmm. If I go this way, 
What the? I... I thought you had a sparkle. I guess you don't. Alright, fine. We'll steal from you instead. Because I can see you definitely have sparkling. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know what the heck's going on. But... For here, we got a clear shot of Clockwork's face. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Maybe. And eggs are back over that way, okay? Let's see. Where are the eggs? Oh, in there. All right, picture time. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Hi, I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. All right, well then I guess we need to get to the front of the blimp. Seriously, they, they have glowies. I should be able to steal more than just money. But it's not letting me. I'm wondering if that's a glitch or if it's just this section. It's just not allowing it. Oh well. Plenty of time later to steal from other guards. Mila? Mila's here too! I can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along! Yeah, it kind of seems like that was the case. There he is, the mastermind behind this blimp and the source of all our problems. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull Clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. That's why we can't steal from them. Because they have keys that it specifically wasn't going to let us do yet. Let's see, once I steal from you, can I take you out? Will it let me? It will! Beautiful. Alright. Let's steal these two. And actually, because of silent obliteration, I should be able to take you out without alerting the other guy. Nice. Three of four keys. Alright, wait for him to walk away. Come back down. Come on. I mean, I guess I could just jump over him and get it from above. Yeah, we'll do that, because I'm impatient. Come on. As a mistake, because he's about to turn around immediately. <laughs> okay. Coins. Key. Perfect. Four keys. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducers. And with them gone, I can just run freely. One, two, three, four. inducer decks are spinning slower get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck I have to reverse them at the height 
see, do I need to ride the things up? I actually forget. Okay, seriously. Where is it coming around? Oh, it's over there? Nope, that didn't work. Think. Oh. Duh. I need to get up here and take care of it from above. Okay. Nope, that's that's not good enough. That's not good. All right. Okay, I think instead of rushing, what I just need to do is come over to this side. There we go. Wait till it's at the top. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, fell down. At least the guards are gone. All right, wait for this one to be high enough that I can get to it. Good. And now I got a repeat. I forgot, there's two on each side. They're not in four different places, they're in two places rotating opposite each other. Good. Now, head over here. Is that, I gotta wait for the last one to come around. Well, this is gonna take me a bit, but not for you. Let's speed it up. And four of four. Good job, Sly. Back to the safe house? Well, ooh. What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed. But, by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believe a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuits and be born anew! All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal! So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. My poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. Northern Lights! You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, 
hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Mila, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... Well, crap. That's not good. As we all know, things are looking grim. Mila has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, There'll be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Oh, it's so not good. And Arpeggio got eaten. That was actually kind of brutal. So we can now go out, Murray, Bentley, and Sly. We'll have missions for all of them. And we have to defeat... Ugh. Clocklaw. I hate that name. It, I mean, I get it. It's Clockwork Neela. It just... I hate Clocklaw. It just sounds so stupid. But enough of my complaining about it. Next time, we're going out on the blimp. Find some clue bottles, do some jobs, make some money. You know, just any other day in the life of the Cooper Gang. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button. And I... We'll see you guys next time.